If you were born between late June and early July, or you know someone who was born between this time frame, you have a sun in the sign of Cancer. So watch this video where I'm gonna break down what the Cancer sign is, what the Cancer archetype represents, and everything you need to know about Cancer, including its personality traits if you have a Cancer sun or strong Cancer placements, and all the little technicalities of what the Cancer archetype is all about. Hello and welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing systems and astrology because I was the kind of person who did not understand themselves at all, no matter how hard I tried. And then I discovered these personality systems such as the Myers-Briggs, the Enneagram and astrology, all of which we talk about here on this channel. And I help teach you in these things so that you can understand yourself as well and live in alignment with your desires. Because once I discovered these things, my life changed forever and I finally understood myself for the first time ever. Before I dive into what the Cancer sign is and the personality traits of Cancer, grab the free birth chart workbook in the link in the description below. It takes you 10 minutes to do the whole workbook where I give you journal prompts to understand the basic aspects in your chart, including your sun sign, your moon sign, and a few others so that you can live in alignment with your chart and actually use astrology to fulfill your desires more easily. If you're like me when you first got when I first got into astrology, I took in every single piece of information about my chart, about every single planet, every single point, Chiron, Lilith, Vesta, all these things, and I literally did nothing with it other than recite the information back to people. Then I started journaling about it and I learned that I can actually apply the information of my chart to live in alignment with my desires and my life got so much easier. So grab the free birth chart workbook in the link in the description below. Today I'm talking about the cancer sign and the personality traits that come along with being a cancer. So if you were born between late June and early July, which roughly means about after the 20th of June and before the 20th of July, you likely have a Cancer Sun. So if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for what it means to have a Cancer Sun. The Sun is usually the placement we learn about first when we get to astrology. Someone usually walks up to us and they go, what's your sign? And whatever sign you say next, uh, I think I'm a Virgo, I think I'm a Cancer, uh, I was born in January or I was born in June. Uh, this is their Sun sign that we are referring to because the Sun moves through the zodiac signs roughly every 30 days. And that represents our core ego self. And this is the sign we learn about first. When you answer the question of what your sign is, this is what you're referring to. And knowing what it means to have your son in cancer can be extremely important. Uh, and it can show you a lot of what your personality traits are. But keep in mind too, that you don't have to have a cancer son in order to have strong cancer traits. So not only do you have a sun in your birth chart, not only does the sun show you unique personality traits based off of your time of birth, but you also have Mercury in a certain position. The moon was in a certain position, Mars, and so much more. They were all in different planet, in different zodiac signs, which contribute to your personality and contribute to your birth chart. So you can have strong Cancer energy if you have a moon in Cancer, a Mars in Cancer, a Mercury in Cancer. And so in this video, I'm going to break down what the common personality traits are for people who have a sun in Cancer or just strong Cancer energy. I'm also going to share all the little technicalities briefly uh, about the Cancer sign and what you need to know about this archetype. Cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac and there are four elements within the zodiac wheel water, earth, fire, and air. And they go in the order of fire, earth, air, water, which is a little confusing to memorize. But we start off our zodiac wheel in our journey with Aries, who's the initiator, bold and brave and just taking action. Then we learn how to slow down when we get to Taurus, an earth sign, and we learn to just listen to the birds and enjoy life's pleasures. Then we get to Gemini, where who is an air sign, and we start to become curious because after enjoying so much comfort, we start to look into things more. 
And this represents the first three aspects of ourselves that we build, which is to take action, to provide ourselves security in the material world, to focus on material, and then to mentally stimulate ourselves, to use our minds. When we get to Cancer for the first time, we are learning to embrace emotion for the sake of feeling emotion. Naturally, as human beings operating on survival instinct, we repress feelings. It doesn't matter if a uh, mountain lion made us cry, it matters if it's gonna kill us. So water, getting to cancer is where we first interact with feeling our feelings for the sake of feeling feelings. And as cancer is the first water sign we interact with, it represents a lot of themes about how we first interact with mo emotion, which is through family. The main thing to know about the cancer archetype is that it represents the mother. It is the mother in astrology. So it represents motherly qualities. And when we have somewhere in uh, our chart, uh, whether it's a planet or a point or a placement, uh, we take on motherly qualities. And to break down what that means even more, qualities of cancer are nurturing, caring, uh, being gentle, being kind, taking care of other people, and also feeling our own emotions ourselves. We can't offer nurturance or we can't be nurturing without being emotionally sensitive and vulnerable ourselves. After all, sometimes the most caring thing and compassionate thing we can do is uh, embody a frequency of compassion. So people who have strong cancer energy can seem very emotionally in touch with themselves and they seem to have a desire to nurture other people. And the interesting thing about the cancer archetype is that it's not just external care. Yes, they wanna take care of other people, but they also must take care of themselves. And this is actually a theme we see a lot in society. If you've ever like been on an airplane, for example, they tell you if in case of emergency, you need to put on your own oxygen mask first before you put on your child's or someone else's. Cancer is lives by a cert, this, this kind of means. They believe in nurturing themselves first in order to nurture other people. So people who have strong cancer qualities, if you are a cancer son, the thing that people are gonna notice about you first is your desire to nurture yourself. You are naturally in tune with what you feel. You might not express it all the time freely, but people can tell that you are in touch with it. You might sometimes freely say just how you feel like, oh, I'm just feeling depressed, so I'm gonna go watch a movie. And they're gonna be like, wow, you just expressed what you felt right now. I thought feelings were banned in my household, so that's weird for me. Cancer people are very good at being aware of their emotions. They have a natural, uh, emotionally in tune nature. The Cancer archetype, like I said, has a lot to do with the uh, themes of motherly qualities and of home. So people who have strong Cancer qualities are also very nostalgic. They can often be seen reflecting on the good old days or lost in thought thinking about their childhood because that was the time when life was simpler and they could just be in their emotional realm. And again, this is uh, true for people who have strong Cancer qualities or are Cancer suns. And the sun in astrology represents our general tendencies, general desires, general traits, how people would generally describe us and we would generally describe ourselves. But it also shows what we value as well. So Aries values moving through life in a way that is action oriented. Tars values moving through life in a way that is comfort oriented. Gemini moves through life in a way that is focused on being mentally stimulated. Cancer is focused on moving through life in a way that feels nurturing to their soul. So it might not mean that they're always cuddling up in a blanket and turning on the ch a Disney movie to reflect on their childhood, but they are seeking that sense of emotional consolidation wherever they go. So these people can be drawn towards reflecting on past memories or creating things that feel nostalgic or surrounding themselves with things that feel nostalgic in order to feel that sense of comfort. They can also feel, uh, because they focus on comfort uh, in the emotional sense so much, they have a hard protective shell to protect them from the outside world. Cancer is represented by the crab. And you can think of a crab how it has literally a hard shell on the outside. Cancer moves through life the same way. While they might be easily able to express what they feel, or it's easy for them to know what they feel, they do their best to blend in with their surroundings and keep themselves protected at all costs. They know that they are emotionally soft on the inside and very delicate, and so they do their best to protect that. 
So cancer's first priority as a person, whether you have a son in cancer or you have strong cancer placements, their first priority is making sure that they are emotionally taken care of. They will protect themselves at all costs. So people with a uh, cancer son can easily find it, find it easy to be alone for the most part, depending on the house it's in might change this fact. So it might not be true as much for you, but generally a cancer would rather isolate themselves and spend time in their own shell for that sense of emotional nurturance than experiencing the world to the fullest and putting themselves out there. And at the same time, while cancer wants to make sure that they are taken care of first, these are the most nurturing people you will ever meet because they value nurturance. They value nurturing other people. And so cancer is often too stereotyped as well as being a mom friend, so to say. This might not show up for everyone, but there's a desire for nurturing people either way. The question is how they nurture people. Because ca uh, cancer is a cardinal sign, they might have a bit of assertive ways of nurturing people. Some cancer sons will nurture people through stereotypical means. Let me make you a warm cup of soup when you're sick. Let me give you a hug when you're heartbroken. And some might nurture you through more disciplinary means as a cardinal sign, because they're just gonna initiate. They might say, okay, get off your butt. You need to get back to work because you want this dream job so bad. Let's go. Cancer either way is nurturing you for your highest good. Because cancer is so easily in touch with their emotions, they can oftentimes get labeled moody because it is partially true that they are naturally always feeling their emotions and they are not very good at keeping them hidden that uh, they can be labeled moody for the, everyone constantly seeing their emotions change. It is not natural for a cancer son or people with so strong cancer placements to hide their feelings. It's not natural for them to repress them. That's the last thing they will do. And in a way, this can be a strength because we, as we talk about here on this channel, a lot about the chakras and when you repress energy or repress emotion, it leads to energy getting stuck in the body. And this can have physical, mental, or emotional um, issues that come up with it. So cancer is always going to allow their feelings to flow. And yes, they might get labeled moody or imbalanced or maybe even just crazy because of it, but they're always going to allow it to flow through them. So cancer can, uh, people with cancer qualities can often have a lot of unexpected low moments where they seem to be extremely high and happy and life is amazing and beautiful and I just want to take care of everyone and now I'm depressed and I'm just going to lay in bed in the fetal position until I feel better again. Cancer is going to move on this unlinear, nonlinear way for the rest of their life. That is just their natural tendency to do so. You can also think of it too as, again, the crab archetype that cancer uh, is associated with. Crabs don't move forward, they move side to side. They move in what would be considered an un non-linear and strange way. Cancer people move through life very similarly, non-linearly, always in touch with their feelings and always acting from the mode of self-protection. And that can be another downside or weakness that comes with cancer is that they see life in a sense as uh, life or death still. They might get so caught up in feeling a sense of emotional security at all times that they never f allow themselves to fully relax. And this is just gonna be how cancer naturally is. Yes, they will have moments of enjoyment and they will live joyful and enjoyable lives, of course. Anyone can have a happy life, but cancer will always act off of the need to feel nurtured and nurture other people. In the end, cancer is the most nurturing, caring soul that you will ever meet. They're always looking out for your own good and for their own best good. They express emotion and are in touch with emotion unlike any other. This video helped you understand the cancer sign and the personality traits that come along with the cancer archetype. Leave a comment below and let me know. If I missed any traits about cancer, let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, you should grab the free birth chart workbook if you haven't yet already. It takes less than 15 minutes to do the entire workbook and you'll understand how to apply the information of your astrology by the end so that you can live in alignment with your soul's unique energetic imprint using journal prompts. While you're down there, if you love workbooks and courses, you should check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle where we are offering all 30 of our workbooks and courses 
on Enneagram, astrology, mindfulness, and so much more for only $30. That's $1 per course per workbook, and you can have a lifetime's worth of self-development fun to do. So grab the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle in the link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down astrology and explaining each of the zodiac signs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.